Happy New Month, Paramata. You know, Jesus Christ always wants his people, children of God, to remind each and every one of you that he loves you dearly. It is important for you to understand that. And the only way for you to have spiritual blessings are to receive Jesus Christ into your heart. From the book of Psalm, chapter 33, verse 5, the Word of God says, He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. People of Paramatta, some people are always fishing for the wrong things. Yes, they're always fishing for the wrong things. They never see good in anything or anywhere. They know all the bad things. Speaking to you, hallelujah. They know all the bad things happening around and are prompt to spread gossip. They are prompt to spread falsehood and negative information. Such people end up twisted in life because they never see or celebrate the good in anything at all. So my topic to you today is see the good only. See the good only. Whereas there are those who always think and care about the good. People of Parramatta, they see good in everything. No matter what it is, they only look out for and celebrate the good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. They are forever good conscious. People of Parramatta, they are forever good conscious. Not because they're naive, but because of the excellence of their personality. So you will find when you're a person with a personality of negativity and you come across someone or a friend that is wonderfully great to you in any sense of the word, that is excellency. That person is trying to get you to get out of your bad situations or your habits. So that's how God expects you to live. To have the excellence of your personality. The Bible says that the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. That's all you see. And that's all you should see. Only good things, people of Parramatta. You may be walking by, looking awesomely beautiful, but hey man, that's only for now. Go home and pull yourself apart and have a good look at yourself in the mirror. Have you accepted Jesus Christ in your heart? If you have not, accept Jesus Christ into your heart. I guarantee you, your life will never be the same again. Your life will be much, much better than what it is now. No matter how rich you are. No matter how you think you're fortunate, more fortunate than other people. No matter how good looking you are. Or how whatever you have to make things better for you. One day, if you do not accept Jesus Christ, life for you, you will drop. That is the word of God. The Word of God is pure. God is perfect. So accept Jesus Christ into your heart. The people who peddle rumors and bad news and only see the negative side of everything can't make much progress in life. No, they cannot. Their values keep depreciating and everyone who wants to make progress avoids them people of Parramatta. Successful people don't want to keep the company of people who are negatively programmed. 
they avoid them. People of Paramatta, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ into your heart, I urge you, open your heart and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. The Bible says, iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17. And in Psalm chapter 33 verse 5, the word of God says towards the letter of Psalm, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. It is. God is mighty. He's awesome. He is excellent. And you can also be like him, people of Parramatta. So choose to see the glory and goodness of God in your world. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the dark places of the earth are filled with the habitations of cruelty, negativity, but it doesn't change the fact that the earth is full of the goodness of God. There's goodness of God everywhere you go. So only see the good. Don't be concerned about the evil reports so much so that they produce a negative response from you, people of Parramatta, accept Jesus Christ. I urge you, accept Jesus Christ. You will find one day when life for you changes dramatically, you're going to change Jesus Christ. Hey! What happened? What happened? Then you turn to Christ and you say, Father, help me. Well, you heard my voice. But you did not open your heart to accept Jesus Christ. I'm urging you, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ in your heart, accept Jesus Christ. He loves you dearly. And he wants you to be like him. The truth is, if all you see and seek is the goodness of the Lord, people of Parramatta, that surely, and you'll experience, have a wonderful and awesome month of October. But pray, I pray that you open your heart and accept Jesus Christ. Have a great week, people of Parramatta, in Jesus' name, amen.